guys, Val Guy here, and today we're going to go to try to find some chitin. Now, what is chitin? Why do we need it? We don't technically need it. Straight up, you don't need it. Uh, you beat the whole game without any chitin, and everything, it's just one of those skippable things. However, if you do want it, um, there are basically two things you can build with it. Um, one is a razor, it's a knife, and it is for how early you can get it, it's really OP. So if you're struggling in combat, it might be a good idea to get this knife. It doesn't work against everything because some things are more immune to uh, knife damage. I personally, I think you should be a blunt weapon person. But um, if you're struggling like in the Black Forest or in the swamp, uh, uh, this razor will absolutely help you with that. Um, the second thing you can make is a harpoon. Now, why do you need a harpoon? You don't. But if you're out traveling the ocean, the most common thing uh, you'll use a harpoon for is sea serpents. So if you're out traveling the ocean and you come across a sea serpent, you can actually harpoon it and drag it back to land. And when you do that, if you kill the sea serpent on land, you will not only get the sea serpent meat, which you would get anyway because it floats out in the ocean, but what doesn't float is the other thing the sea serpent uh, um, drops, and that is scales. So you can get an OP knife with the uh, razor, and with the scales you can make an OP shield. Both of these things you can make very, pretty early on, um, as long as you're in the Bronze Age you should be able to make this. Now, technically you can make it in the Stone Age uh, before you beat the first boss and you would be on a raft here to go find Chitin and to go explore the ocean. That is a death trap. Do not do that. Uh, I always tell people, think of it like real life. Would you take a raft that looks like this into the ocean in real life? Uh, I'm guessing no for the vast majority of you unless you're in some horrible situation. You're not going to go exploring in this raft, right? No. You're gonna use something like that, and so are we. So this is the second boat in the game. I'm gonna use it, sit down, and go sailing. So sailing is just kinda like walking, um, except you don't hit what rocks when you're ro walking, but uh, uh, W controls how fast you wanna go. So that is just when you hop in, the sail is not down. 1W, 2W, 3W. The faster you go, or the more red, the more those little arrows are out, the further down your sail goes, the further you will go. So, looks like we're just going to be in a little cove there. So let's keep going this way. If you can see the little scale there on the, on the right, it shows we are the wind is to our back, which is what you want. You want the wind to your back when you're sailing. You will not go very fast or very far if you're going into the wind. Now this is one of the frustrating things about Valheim and why it kinda sucks to be on the water sometimes is because if you're facing the wind, especially in the big boat, uh, you will, you're will you just dead in the water. It is faster, I've done this, it is faster to go backwards into the wind than it is to go forward into the wind. I, I don't know, must be some type of game break or something, I don't know, but it is, so. Yeah, just a top tip there. Going into the wind, not cool. Um, what we're looking for is a little island, and what we need is a pickaxe. You absolutely have to have a pickaxe for this So you need a pickaxe and a boat, and when you're sailing, it's always a really good idea to load up on health food. You don't need any stamina when you're sailing, but uh, if something happens to the boat and you end up swimming, you will need health and stamina to get back to shore. So it's very important to keep eating. Um, keep eating while you're on the boat. Now, I don't think that little island is what we're looking for. I think that's a legit island. But it might be. It very well might be. 
closer I get to it. I don't see any trees or anything on it. It doesn't look like it's super far away. Now that, yeah, there's a little island that's off the Black Forest. We're going to avoid that. And when you're sailing, look out for rocks and stuff. I'm wondering if that is just another useless island or if that is what we're looking for. Closer to it, we'll get more definition. Big rock in front of it. That looks like a use, useless island. <laughs> That's my guess. Yeah, look at that. There's a spawner on it. That's funny. That's funny. So yeah, useless spawner black forest island. That actually wouldn't be terrible to set up a wooden stone farm if you want to go kill some gray dwarfs. I'll get away from there. So this is the fun part and that is just sailing around trying to find this island these islands. I don't even know. It, it could be forever until we find one. I don't know. We're just going to keep on looking though. This boat is decently, has decent speed. Uh, you're not going to outrun a sea serpent in it. If we do come across a sea serpent, we will take damage. Um, cause you can't outrun it. But Hypothetically, if we do see one, we'll just go right there to the Black Forest, and hopefully we can kill it when we get there without the boat taking too much damage. You can't avoid attacks, you know, by doing the old, it's coming at you, you turn real hard, that type of thing. Think of it like you're in a, I don't know, a plane or bumper cars or something, but... I also like, I don't really like to do this on land, but out on the ocean, I like to zoom out all the way. And that's just personal preference, because like, this is what it is when you get in there, and you just can't, you can't see past that sail very well, so if there's a big rock or something in front of you, you're going to hit it. And you still might hit it this way, it's just you're less likely to hit it. I wish the sail was translucent or something. That'd be cool. Something you can kind of see out of. Well, so far we're not doing too great. There's not even an... That's just still starting island. Which is, still, which is pretty big. I think that island over there is just... A Junk Meadows Island, it looks like. Are we ever going to find it? You'll wonder this yourself as you're doing it. And I don't know... These things that... Um, the Chitin is on, they're called Leviathans. And I think they're alive because basically what we're doing is we're mining... Um, it's almost like coral or something off of them. Um, and when you get too much or, I don't know, take it off or whatever... The island disappears and it's gone forever. So, it's basically rush on it, get as much as you possibly can, and uh, rush out. Also, fun tip about the boat it's kind of hard to see there, but right beyond the mast, right where I've got my pointer, there is storage on the boat. So, I'll just show, oh, show you real fast storage so you can fit iron and stuff in here and there's no weight limit not just iron but anything but a lot of people put metal in there because there's no weight limit so you can put 30 of each raw metal give me 120 to uh, sail around the world with and the bigger boat has more metal so just an FYI there
I noticed the uh, music has changed. We've got like this, I don't know, doesn't sound very nautical, but we'll call it a nautical theme. Haven't found anything yet. No sea serpents, no leviathans, no nothing. Welcome to sailing in Valheim. Have we gone very far? We have. We've gone a good little distance. But compared to the entire map, we've gone... I don't know, maybe 10%? Probably less? What's that? That doesn't look like anything. Also, on the map here, zoom in and out. It's just the keys to the to the uh, right of the M key, the comma and the period. Comma takes you out, period takes you in. I don't think that's anything, but we're going to check. Be stupid not to. Keep the wind in our sails. I think this is a little junk island. Kind of looks like the plains, which I really hope it's not. Yeah, swamp. No, thank you. You can tell there's a mountain over here. If you're looking for mountains, you don't want to get too close to. Pretty sure that's the plains over there because these death mosquito dudes. They're, ba they're basically like Satan's mosquitoes. They can come out and uh, kill you pretty pretty easily, especially early game. That is 100% the plains. You want to avoid that. So if right now, if a sea serpent came right now, uh, I would absolutely go for the swamp over the plains. This plains is just, it's just death waiting for us, basically. We're going to continue to eat. And I'm out of carrot soup after 25, so... And this can take a long time to find them. Um, that's just a rock. It's a huge mountain. Holy cow. It can take a long time to find the Leviathan. Um, it's one of the harder things to find in the game because the map only has so many of them. And you're on the ocean, which is slow going. Because there's so much of it, so vast. So I, I don't know how many per world it's got, but... Um... It's not many. So this is a just doing a little turnaround here. Classic. Now we're going into the wind. Can't do anything. And there we go. We've got wind in our sail skin. We're gonna keep. See how we're accelerating now. It's a wind game out here. So I'm getting a little too far from home, especially around the plains and stuff. That's that's a little much for me for us right now so let's uh... now the wind is shifting I don't know if you see that on the right the wind is shifting which is really great news for us which we'll, we'll, we'll take full advantage of the wind shift I'd like to go a little more right but I really can't go too much more right alright it's getting dark what are we gonna do? We're gonna fly around and see if we can't find one. This is way faster. And I'm just trying to show you guys before dark. Oh yeah, great. We're in the plains. And now it's foggy. Yeah. Normally, wouldn't be able to do this. Now the wind doesn't matter at all. But I am cheating, so keep that in mind. I can't believe we haven't found one yet. We've covered a good distance. Um, and that is just how it goes. Is that that same black forest island it is? What's this? You see this? Nah, it's just a meadows. I hope. 
that would be a pretty cool base. This is just another Meadows Island, yeah. Same island I just saw that I said would make a cool base. Pretty sure this is a black forest with that spawner that we saw. Yep. Nope. Anything, anything. More black forest. It's crazy we haven't found one yet. This is the way it goes, and mind you, if you are sailing this, yeah, it's just like a river now. If you're sailing this, you're probably if you've got a big boat, you're not taking it up here. You've got the, the medium boat, which we were just on. It's going to be a challenge to see all the rocks and stuff. Those are just like rivers. Alright. Let's do... Let's do this. Let's skip time. Skip time again. Maybe it won't allow us. There we go. Day 24. Alright, great. A lot easier to find stuff now. <laughs> Sorry it's taking so long. These are just rivers that don't lead to oceans. There's where we started, there's our raft. Unbelievable. <laughs> Is not it. We've already been up here. It's going to be out in the actual ocean. Alright, well, while we're doing this, let's try this. We're going to explore the whole map. Okay. Oh. So we went all the way down here. So now we'll go over here and see if there's anything. Actually, yeah, I gained some more height. And compared to the boat, we are flying. Ha! Literally flying. What is this? What is this? Meadows, of course. Darn. Alright, back in the ocean, that's a good sign. Swamp there. Maybe I'm too high. Welcome to the frustrations of Valheim. <laughs> Trying to find things on the o Ay! I spoke too soon. This is what you're looking for. So, let's build a boat again. Missed it. There is a ladder on the boat as well if you're out here swimming. It's right there, ladder. Okay, so finally. We'll just get turned to it. kind of dock on it and select our pickaxe and here we go so this is what we're looking for thistle barnacles okay you hear that now the thing knows we're here it just kind of like moved around and made that sound So we're going to get as many of these as we can. There he is again. Yeah, he's going in the ocean. Yep, 
See who's tipping up. He is angry. He knows we're here. This is another reason to keep your health and stamina up. Oh, now we're going. See how we're sliding off him? And there he goes. What did we get? 18. So, back to the boat we go. Our stamina is low. Alright, use the ladder. Yay, we're not going to die. Okay, so, since it took so long to find this guy, and there's no need to mark it, because he's gone. He was here, and now he's not. So, we're just going to fly home again. So, if this was real game, we started... Where did we start? We started about right here. The heck was that? Sorry. We started about right here. Nope. Right here. And we're here. And our base is here. So we need to... We would need to sail all the way back here and then walk all the way around. Or we can sail... Oh, wow, that's a huge starting island. All the way around here. Or here. There, you know. Personally, if I was doing this, I'd sail right back here and then I'd walk it. Or walk across, rebuild the boat, and then sail across because that wouldn't be bad either. But right now, for time purposes, we're flying. And then we can zoom out again. We go about there. So I was trying not to cheat in this video too much. I cheated making the boat, but I uh, kind of thought that was another one. Um, just to show you guys what to do, how to do it. Um, but for the purpose of time, and I'm sure you guys don't want to mess around all day trying to get me to find a Leviathan to get that chitin. So just don't. For the sake of the video. Alright, we're going to zoom in a little bit. Oops, other zoom in. There we go. Oh, buried ship. You can see them a lot better this way. When you're on the ground, they kind of look like just scattered rocks. But when you're not, that absolutely is a ship. Uh, buried treasure in there. And bones. So, just a heads up there. A lot easier to see when you're flying. I didn't realize how um, how much they look like ships until I started cheating, and I was like, "Holy cow!" All right, so we're back home. Yay! Let's jump off the deck, go in here, and now I believe Chitin is just on a workbench. Which I've got that. Okay, let's try this. Yes, so there's our razor. And it does 20 slash 20 pierce. To put that into perspective, and I don't have bronze discovered yet. Alright. No problem. For the sake of the video. So 2020 is what we're looking for. And. So this would be the equivalent copper 12 12. So this is, it'll do 12 slash and 12 pierce, so that's 24 damage as opposed to 40. So, and if you back some, stab something, that becomes times 6, which means sneak up on them. So, 6 times 20 is 120 damage that you could do to something, as opposed to 12 times 6, which is 60 damage. So, twice the damage. This is a really good little weapon, especially this early on. Um... And let's see here, where is the harpoon? There it is. So this, I'll just show you how to use this real fast. There we go. So just like any other weapon, you right click it, and there it is. We look like we're Aquaman or something. Oh, perfect, a wolf. So, just like uh, your arrow, you're just going to point and, oh, friendly fire. Why won't you let me turn you off? There we go. We've enabled friendly fire because these are friendly wolves, so... 
There we go. We've harpooned him, and now look, we can drag him. This is the other really helpful thing with this is not only um, um, sea serpents, but boars, because they won't they won't follow you around. You can uh, you can do this to a boar or a neck. You can do this to anything and pull it around wherever you want. Now the wolf's gonna kill him, but. Anyway, I think you get the point. Ooh, wow. Hmm. Or didn't like that. Um, but yeah, and then I will show you the serpent shield. Now you will need some iron for this, so you can get it in the swamp, but you will have the equivalent of an iron buckler. So let's just compare and contrast them real fast. Are you saving? Yeah, it must have been saving. So this is what you would be getting. Uh, block armor 28, block force 30, as compared to block armor 60, block force 100. So a much better shield, and actually a better comparison would be the tower shield. So let's try that again. We've got 60 over here, 60, 100, and we've got 52, 100. So a much better shield. It actually, I think it looks awesome. You're running around like this can't tell me that doesn't look sweet um, or I didn't oh, I didn't make the uh, I didn't make the knife that's tragic let's see if I can find it there we go yeah and look at that thing I mean look uh, hard to see but it just looks mean let's go let's go find something what are we gonna find see how much damage we do now I have ghost on here we go, a deer. So I can just easily sneak up and... Fif really? 15 damage? Uh, I swear. Sometimes videos... You know what? I'm stupid. I'm just gonna spawn a boar. Okay. 102, that's better. Let's spawn a deer. 70. Better. Um, I spawn another boar. And I'm going to switch to a bronze knife. Sorry, copper knife. So we just did 100 and. What damage? 103? 45. Huge, huge difference with that razor. And again, you can get it now. You don't need anything crazy to construct it. Fine wood, which you can easily get in the Bronze Age, and leather scraps, which you get by killing boar. So, super easy, guys. This knife is OP early game. The shield is OP, a little OP towards the later game, but that is why it's important if you so choose to find shit. So, hopefully, this helps, guys. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments, and we'll leave it. Uh, we'll leave it there. Thanks.